Hey everybody, this is my 1977 Ford F-250. It's got a 351 V8 and a three-speed automatic transmission. Truck was built out of the Kansas City plant and it was sold out of one of the neighboring cities here, Lebanon, Oregon, from Santiam Ford. It's a very original truck. Shows about 78,600 miles. And I think that's actually on a, uh, an accurate number. The truck is very authentic. And as we go around, I'll point out a couple reasons why I think that number is pretty accurate. But if you look at just the metal on the truck, it's in really, really nice shape. We refinished the bumper right there. That's the original bumper. And all this blue paint, the light blue and the Bahama blue on top, is all original. You'll see stuff like this right there that's got a little scratch. But overall, this is probably one of the nicest trucks that we've had in. That's the original grill, the original front bumper. And going down this side, it's, it's in extremely nice condition. A little bit of a little thing right there, but and all in all, this is just a really well kept, preserved truck. Back across the tailgate, we have some scarring there. Uh, we refinished the wheels. These are 16 inch wheels. Uh, and this is a tire that we really like using. Uh, it's a Solaris Starfire. Uh, and this size is a 265-7016. The interior is really kind of what tips me off to think that this is a, a legitimate 78,000 mile truck. So that's the original dash bezel. That's the original heater controls and radio. And then this is actually the original headliner too. So all the paint in this cab is all original. And this vinyl flooring is original too. And so normally that's going to show a lot of wear to it. It's going to be peeling. It's going to be in very bad. And it's going to be discolored and in, in very brittle shape. This one's not. So it's just, uh, it's really intriguing the way that this truck was, was maintained. It had to have been in a garage or a shop or something, something indoors. Then that's the original paneling too, um, door panel. So we didn't touch any of that. The only thing that we did was the seat. And the seat turned out really, really nice. Loved this fabric, this color combo. Uh, and then we redid the foam in the seat too. So the seat's nice and firm. It's a good, comfortable ride. But this steering wheel too, just going back to the authenticity, that's the original steering wheel. So when you just don't see them this nice, it's got a little crack right there, but these are usually cracked, you know, twice on each side. Maybe something in the middle here where they join them. It's, uh, this one's really, really, really nice. So, and then all these gauges, all the knobs, that's all true. That's all original stuff. And then look back here. We've got, uh, in these corners, and then the back of the, the cab here, this is just all original paint. Really, really nice. Bottom of the doors look amazing. Same with the rockers. Even these drip channels 
those are not touched up that's just the original stuff right there so and here's another thing these tend to get very brittle when they're left outside and you can see a little bit of, of cracking right there that's the original rear window seal and the original glass and even that's in really nice shape which is fairly uncommon you see a little bit of a um, couple blemishes across the nose of the hood right there just from road debris but look at the grill I mean it's just in really nice shape these grill shells are really hard to keep keep clean they're really soft it's just a very interesting truck And then another piece to this story is the engine bay is very original. So that's the original air cleaner. And we've got the original jack, which a lot of these trucks still have, but that's still in very nice shape. I believe that's the original reservoir box, which is not dry cracked or anything. It's just still in very nice condition. Even this hose ducting, um, you know, you can get these aftermarket, but I believe this is the original one and it's still one, it's still there, but two, it's in really nice shape. So, uh, the owner that we bought this from bought it from the original family. And when he got it, he did, um, you know, pretty normal stuff, tune up plugs, wires, cap and rotor. Uh, then he ended up doing the rear brakes too. So when we got it, uh, we ended up putting a battery in it and we did a fuel filter we did a drive belt uh, the valve cover gaskets and then we did the front pads and rotors uh, we did the the shocks and i think that's about it yeah i think that's it oh we did a radiator so just the other day we we found a leak in the original radiator and so we got this replacement one but very original under the hood it's just really really interesting you can see the valve cover sticker still in really nice shape and this is cool this is a, a little toolbox obviously but had it bolted down um, just kind of a cool little piece and another thing too is this hood isn't rusty so there's no rust on the truck there's well there's some in the, the bed um, but we'll get to that but man this is just I wish all the hoods look like this it's in really really nice shape Uh, we'll go into the interior here on this side. Start with this door bottom. That door bottom is just as nice as the other one. Same with the rocker. And then you'll see stuff like this. Um, and that's just bare metal. There's no rust in there. Just a little surface rust right there. But uh, underneath on the floors, it's all dry. And then this is a little bit better picture of the, the floor mat or the vinyl flooring here. That's the original piece. Cool little cup holder. Trust me, it's nice to have a cup holder in these trucks. Original dash pad. I'm assuming that's the original dash pad. That is not a, that is not a, I don't think that's a reproduction pad. So very nice. I don't, uh, I don't see any flaws in this truck. Any flaws that would require any, any immediate attention at least. You know, it just shows very, very well. 
little scuff right there. And inside the bed, this could be a very good candidate for a bed liner. Um, but I tend to prefer just the originality of the of the truck beds, just with the original paint, even if they're um, showing some patina. But you can see a little bit of of rust that was just starting to, to scale right here. And then kind of on the other side too, it's very minimal. You know, this, this is all pretty normal, but it's, Very treatable too. So another thing, these are the original Ford tail lights, and those you can see right there. Those tend to fade real fast. They tend to to chip, and that's just another indicator that this is an original mile truck. I don't think it was taken out of the, the garage or shop much, but just a beautiful truck. Um, we'll get underneath here. You can see the floors, how nice they are. Same with the frame. Uh, we did put a uh, exhaust pipe on it, so it's got a fairly new muffler. I think that's a new muffler. That might actually be original too. But we did put a, a tailpipe on it, and then it's got a new rear gas tank. But you can see just how nice it is under here. And we had the front shocks. But there's nothing that's leaking. Still very impressive. Uh, we'll go over to the... Just see the floor on this side too. So again, just very solid. All the metal is very solid. So I hope you guys like it. Uh, this is definitely one of our favorites. So we'll go for a ride. Thanks.